Yo, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be doing episode number 16 of I Build Your Teams, the series where I build my viewers' teams into the best teams possible for my team unlimited and or competitive play based on how much MT they have and what their squad is currently looking like. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 9,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate your support if you haven't already, if you do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's start off with the first team today, which comes in from Christopher. He's got 350 thousand mt ish on deck right now and this is the squad he's currently working with and i like a lot of pieces of the squad he's got some good guys in here but i will say there's some guys i would definitely sell as well some swaps that i'd be making so first of all three guys or actually five guys i would sell to be completely honest it's gonna be ron artest grant hill kevin garnett wayne Embry, and paul george i'd sell all five of those guys uh if they're auctionable if you want auctionable versions of some of those guys that's fine they can stay but i don't think any of those five guys make your lineup now what i would probably do is once you sell all those guys you're probably gonna have close it up and we'll, 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 we'll say be safe and say 500,000 MT you'll probably have more than that but we'll say 500k MT um, at that point your best bet is buying a center and moving Bam out of bio to the power forward position so you can have Kemp and Bam as your fours and you'll also need a small forward maybe a point guard as well so in my opinion, while I don't dislike Donovan Mitchell, I think a guy like Donald, if you like those small PGs who are kind of electric, um, Donald's going to be a better option for you. Otherwise, you can go with Alonzo, Lamelo, and Magic. Any of those guys are going to be upgrades over Donovan Mitchell, in my opinion. Um, and I would also pick up Ricky Davis to play the two. And then you can have Kazzy Russell and Ricky Davis as your twos. So one of those tall PGs with SGA, Kazzy and Ricky Davis as your twos. Uh, at the three, I'd probably go with Tis the Season LeBron or even Nightmare LeBron if you because he's cheaper. Um, you could get him and then you can have him and Bailey Howell. Kemp and Bam as your fours and Kareem and KP as your fives is where I would personally be going with this team. You should be able to pretty easily, I believe, build that 10 man once you make yourself some MT, sell some of your other players, and that 10 man is going to be really good and give you an improved squad. Now, second data today comes in from Miklo. He's been playing for two weeks, is wondering what he should do with his 100k MT. So he's got SGA and KP, and then he's basically got all free cards outside of that. Now, I will say some of these free cards are actually pretty solid. I think Jaron Jackson Jr. is pretty good, Bam is very solid. But outside of those two guys, I don't think any of these other free cards really make your team. Maybe Mike Miller. Um, but outside of those two guys, I think you should probably be looking to pick up more budget options. I don't hate DeAndre Ayton either, but you, I, what I would recommend personally doing is grinding for Sean Kemp if you do. Uh, if you are close to level 40, you can get level, you can get Trey. Trey's not going to play, but you could get Trey and then get Sean Kemp. And I think Kemp could start at the four for you with Bam at the backup four. And then you could have Jaron Jackson Jr. at the backup five. That's what I'd be looking to do because that's a free upgrade right there. Um, and then outside of that, you need a backup PG and you need two shooting guards and two small forwards. So for the backup PG position, I think your best bet, in my opinion, is going to be Kevin Porter Jr. He's super cheap and very solid at the point guard position. Um, I know he's only an amethyst, but he's six foot six at PG with an elite release and a great slasher. Not a great defender, but I can live without that. At your twos, um, I think the shooting guard position is one of the weaker positions when it comes to budget beasts in my team right now. Uh, so I do think you play Mike Miller as your backup shooting guard, starting shooting guard. Uh, I'm actually going to come back to you because I need to think about it just a little bit more. But small forward position, there are a lot of great budget cards, including guys like a Jonathan Isaac, a Thurl Bailey, a Bailey Howell. Any two of those three guys, I think you pick any of those two or any two of those three, that's going to work great. And also, if you can't get Kemp, you could just pick up Thurl Bailey, play him at the backup four and have him and Jaron Jackson Jr. as your four and five. And then you run Isaac and Bailey Howell at the threes. Now, I'm still struggling to think of who you should probably use as your other shooting guard who's a really cheap, good budget option because I don't think there's really that elite level guy at the shooting guard position who's actually super cheap right now. So I might consider just playing Jerry Stackhouse still at the two and then going Mike Miller at the backup two and then making those upgrades in every other aspect of your team. Um, but I think that is what you're going to be looking to do outside of your shooting guard position is upgrades that I just mentioned. Um, Dinwiddie is the third team today. He's got 900,000 MT plus, so he's lost after this drop. I like all six of these guys. I think they all can honestly stay in their roles. Um, you do need two shooting guards and you need a backup PG. Backup PG, I'd go Magic Johnson. If you want to get one of the other tall PGs, go for it. But Magic is the guy that I'd personally be sticking with at the backup point guard position. Uh, shooting guards, I'd probably go Ricky Davis and... Um, I mean, you could go to see some Kobe. He's going to be a bit cheaper. You could go Cassie Russell. He's going to be a bit more expensive. I wouldn't pay for Terry because he's just really expensive. So for me, I'd probably go one of those two guys in addition to Ricky Davis as your twos. Uh, and then at the center position, I'd go get David Robinson. So I'd pick up Magic. I'd pick up Ricky Davis and one of Kobe or Cassie. And then, um, because Ricky Davis is just so cheap. It's for how good he is. Uh, but then I'd also be getting at the center position, David Robinson, who I do believe is the best center in my team. So that's what I do with your MT right now to build the best 10 men 
content that you can. Uh, fifth team, or sorry, fourth team is here from Sports Gaming. Uh, he says he's got 500,000 on cheek, trying to figure out what players to buy, and he wants to keep these three guys in his rotation. So I'll say this backup small forward, backup power forward, backup, or backup small, backup point guard backup small forward and backup power forward can be westbrook worthy and howard now point guard one i definitely would pick up a tall pg sga is going to be your cheapest option he might be a good option considering you only have 500k to spend and you got to fill out several other spots in your team so then you could have sga and rest as your pgs shooting guards again i'd get ricky davis backup shooting guard uh, i think mike miller is going to be fine at that spot get him from the happy holidays event uh threes again go jonathan isaac jonathan isaac bailey howell your other four could be thorough thorough bailey with dwight as your fours and then your fives could be be Kareem and Christos Porzingis. That'll give you a 10 man of something like SGA, uh, Ricky Davis, who did I say at the three? Uh, Jonathan Isaac, and then you have Thurl at the four and Kareem at the five, and then off the bench you have Russ, Mike Miller, James Worthy, Dwight, and K K KP is your backup five. That sounds like a really good 10 man to me and a 10 man that you can afford as well. Uh, 300K with this squad. Uh, I, again, I don't dislike this team by any means. I will say, I think you might as well sell Dwight because you have Dolph and AD as your fours. If you don't can't sell Dwight because you got him from the Christmas locker code or something, that's totally fine. Then at that point, you just start, slot him into the backup center position instead of Tyson Chandler. Uh, but if you can't sell Dwight, I just pick up KP at the backup center position. He's going to be really good as well. So depending on if you can sell Dwight or not is where I would decide to throw him at the backup center position or not. Um, and then Lonzo is good. I don't love Russ. Um, if you like him, you can keep him. I still think an SGA is going to be a better option for you. And then again, Ricky Davis with how cheap he is and how good he is, is a guy to pick up at the shooting guard position as well. You could bring our test off the bench at that point. So you could go something like Lonzo, Ricky Davis, Tim Thomas, Dolphin, Kareem with uh, SGA or test. Um, Cincy Powell, AD, and Dwight, or KP as your backup five. Second to last team today comes in from Anthony or Antony. He's got 80,000 MT. Uh, another guy with a pretty solid base team, but he's missing a few. Uh, he's got a few holes on his team. He is level 40, so I'm going to recommend for sure, since you are level 40, that you do grind Sean Kemp to play your starting power forward position, and then Bam can come off the bench. I'd also throw Thurl Bailey at your backup three, or if you prefer a guy like Jonathan Isaac or Bailey Howell, put them at the backup three instead. Uh, but that'll give you a five of SGA, Jimmy Butler. Ah! You don't have the MT for Ricky Davis, but I don't like Ricky but Devin Booker that much. Um, I don't know. I think your point guards are fine. I think you stick with that. Uh, I think your shooting guards could use a little work. Jimmy's good. I don't like Devin Booker. If you like Booker, you can keep him. If not, I still am going to stick with a guy like Mike Miller as a really good option at the shooting guard position because he is free and I think he's very good. He's got great size, but there really isn't that great shooting budget shooting guard, unfortunately. The one guy I will suggest that I haven't really been suggesting is Luol Dang, but I don't know how much MT he costs, and I think that's the key with him is that he might be a bit too expensive to be in your price point. So for now, I just say SGA, Donovan Mitchell, um, Jimmy Butler, Mike Miller, Cincy Powell, uh, one of those three budget players that I said at the backup three between Thurl, Isaac, and Howell, and then Bam, or Kemp and Bam as your fours, and then you can go Dwight and KP as your fives. Again, picking up Chris Desperzegas for that backup center position is going to be perfect for your squad. And then the final team today comes up from Clay. He says he's got a million MT and he's selling Terry right now. Um, he likes Rafer. I don't like Rafer. That's just my opinion. I also like Harrison Barnes over Bailey Howell and Gerald Wallace once he's evolved. So in my opinion, I would probably Evo Harrison Barnes, start him at the three, and then bring Bailey Howell off the bench at the three. That's just my opinion. Um, and I would also be picking up a shooting guard and a small forward, I, or a point guard and a shooting guard. I think those are really kind of big keys for your team. Um, you need a point guard, you need a shooting guard. I'd get Magic Johnson, and I'd get uh, probably Tis the Season, Kobe or Kazi. Again, one of those two guys, depending on how much you want to spend, and have those guys play point guard and shooting guard either off your bench in your start or in your starting lineup and bringing Lonzo and Ricky off the bench at that point. But for me, it's Evo and Harrison Barnes, then picking up those two guys, uh, Magic and one of those two shooting guards, and then at the backup center position. If you like KP, if you like DeMarcus Cousins, you can keep him. Otherwise, go get a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He'll have the MT. He's better than Boogie, and I think that is a nice little upgrade as well. But that is the last squad for this video. I hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.